In this session, we're going to learn how to create a company code and how to edit a company code. As we all know, the primary organizational structure starts with the company code. We all know that this activity of the company code creation is usually done by the finance teams. I'm including this creation here just to have an overall understanding about the creation process and in future, you may use this particular session for the basic understanding of the integration that I'm going to do with S4 HANA system and ERP. Usually during the company code creation, it is recommended to copy the company code instead of creating from the scratch. In order to copy a company code, SAP has given a dedicated company code from where you can copy to create a company code, which is 0001. Why do we copy a company code? We copy a company code because to that particular company code, there is a lot of configurations that has been done. And instead of creating everything again, we're going to copy that from the primary company code and we're going to edit the newly created company code according to our requirement. In order to copy a company code, we're going to follow a path. We call it as a navigational path for which we go to a transaction code called SPRO. What is SPRO? Usually when you want to create an organizational structure or if you want to go with the configuration, we usually go with the company code called SPRO. And the path that you have to choose is after entering SPRO, you have to go inside the enterprise structure. In that enterprise enterprise structure, we're going to define the options. And after clicking on the definition, you have to click on the financial accounting. Then you have to choose an option called edit, copy, delete, check company code. I'll show you now how to do this process in the S4 HANA system. And after the creation process, we'll go ahead and edit the same created company code. This is my SAP S4 HANA system. As we have learned, I'm going to enter a transaction code called SPRO. And before we go into that, the system that you are seeing is based on the graphics that you have selected. Now, if you are using a version, low level systems, a version like say SAP Logon 740, the interface would be different. So you can see your SAP Logon pad by going to this option. And if in here you have 740 patch level, then in order to get this particular interface, you have to upgrade it to the 750 patch level. And if you're getting an SAP system, from me, you will be getting the same environment for your practice. After entering SPRO, you have to click on enter button. We'll end up in this particular screen. After coming into the screen, the option that you have to choose is SAP reference IMG. In here, as I've told you in the previous slide, we have to choose the option enterprise structure under which you have definition assignment. So we are going to first define it, click on the definition part, and then inside which you have financial account. I'm going to choose the financial accounting and you can find this option called define company code. And you can see edit, copy, delete, check company code. So our option is to go with this, click on that. I'm 
I'm going to choose copy delete check company code. I'm going to place my cursor here. I'm going to click on the choose button. You have an option here called copy or object. So now this pop up comes here. It's asking you from which company code which has to be copied. As I told you, company code 0001 is a company code from which we are going to copy and create a new company code. A company code can be alphanumeric in nature. Let me choose a company code 6000. Let me check whether it is available here. If not, we'll go ahead and choose a different one. Okay. Only copy the GL account if you want to allocate the same. So all these particular things are configuration related things. So for whatever pop-up that is appearing, you can just go ahead and click on yes. And just give a currency, let me give USD. Yes. Yes. And here we go. What do you mean by a transport link first? We'll see this bit later. But when you get into this particular screen, you can just go ahead and create a new request and say this request is for defining the company code 6000. Click on save so you can see a new transport request is assigned. I'm going to click on the continue button. Click on S. You can see here the company code 001 is copied to the company code 6000. Click on continue. Go back to the previous screen by clicking on the back button. Now I'm going to click on the edit button. Click continue. And now search for the company code that you have created. And this is the company code we have created. 6000, choose that, click on the details. You can give the different name. Let me give ABC private limited. Give the same city. Click on save. data was saved. Let me see. Go back and now you can see the change reflected here. Go back. And this is a process for the creation of the company code. Hope you have enjoyed and learned how to create the company code. See you in the next, next session dealing with the creation of a plant.